So, good morning, and I mean good morning. It is it is it is Sunday morning, February nineteenth. Of course, after having two weeks of insanely crazy warm weather, it's gotten cold again, and, and the furnace don't work. It's about fifty degrees in this room, and um. Panthers got their asses absolutely handed to them yesterday. But that's the last thing on Stu's mind right now. Stu, what what you got there, brother Stu? Stu, Stu, Stu looks like like he don't he's like, there's a hockey game yesterday. When was when was that? Stu's got one thing and one thing only on his mind. And no, it's not his date because he manscaped. That's 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 later on in the video. What you got there, bro? I'm cigar having. This, ladies and germs, is a Cohiba Esplendido, courtesy of my good friend Paul and his stepbrother Jose. Haven't had one of these babies in a really long time. So, in spite of the fact that I'm disgusted, <laughs> angry, pissed, I'm going to. Just he's just smiling through cigar. it. He's just gonna enjoy his cigar. In I do the fact that I hate to say when I'm right, boys, but I predicted that game, didn't I, in the last video? Yeah. Of course, you, of course, I mean, not not to discount that, but basically if you predicted a loss after every time we won a game. You, <laughs> you can no, go to I, Vegas and I, I wasn't I wasn't you know I wasn't counting on the fact that we didn't show up right but the fact that the predators yeah. got smoked five nothing yeah the game before by the lightning yeah um was it the lightning or the Bruins I don't even no, remember I, I think it, yeah, it, it was the Bruins yeah it was the Bruins yeah, yeah. so yeah. anyway they get smoked you know you, you you don't have a team play at home, get smoked like that, and not get reamed out by their coach and, right. and then come out the next game and yeah, basically don't show up either. Right, exactly. So I knew, and you could see from the opening whistle, they were flying. Yeah, yep. Um, yep. The fact that we went ahead two to one. Right. And then, I don't know, the wheels <laughs> came off the, the, the cart. What happened? So, um, I don't know, but, um, look. but, but you're happy with your cigars. Thank yeah, you, Paul. You know, I really, <laughs> thank you, Paul. Well, I really appreciate you know, <coughs> yeah. getting these to me. Yeah. Um, I'm still under the weather, obviously. So, you know, I can't really fully taste, you know, there's a certain taste that Cubans have, but, um, Let's just let's just focus on where we're at right now. I don't want to say the season's over, but I mean, let's be realistic. Winning one, losing one, is, right? You know, yeah. If we had been, let's say we're five games in a row, six games in a row, we have a chance. Just let's just enjoy the regular season. I well, mean, look. the rest the rest of the season. Hopefully, we'll uh, we won't. Be embarrassed and end up with 88 points but um we got a big problem yeah yeah let, let's just go ahead we and gotta, talk about let's, that let's, let's just uh <laughs> talk about the elephant in the room right and his name is spencer knight yeah and and don't don't get us wrong we're not blaming spencer knight for last night and we're not even really blaming him for his inconsistency um it's it's the, the kid needs to be playing hockey games. I don't care if he's playing street hockey. He needs to be on the ice. No 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 goalie unless they're you know been a veteran guy and have played you know five six seven years. Like Lyon has done that. He basically his whole career. He's been the guy that comes in when it's an emergency. You know, but at his age, he should. I mean, he should have just stayed. They had him at the AHL. He played the two games, and then they bring him up, but they say he's not ready. Why is he there then? And clearly, 
from the performance the other night and then last night, his fundamentals are all out of whack. Now, all out of whack. Yeah, you can, I, te you can, I texted you that his position yeah. is really bad. Yeah, I mean, but he but, played for 37 days and he gets embarrassed his first game, right? And then I'm gonna just come out and say it. It was embarrassing to watch him yesterday. The fact that the team really didn't play good in front of him right. is a side note, but he should be stopping some of those pucks. Well, he's, he's, so, he's got to see it first, and that's yeah, the he, biggest he needs, concern. He needs, to, he needs to go down for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah. And just play and bring yeah. up Lyon. Right. No, it, it, it absolutely has to happen. He should be the workhorse down there. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand why not. And I think everybody is pretty much on the same page, which is not understanding why they keep – why he's not just at the AHL level getting better. He had to do that last year. Then when he came back, he looked good. But bigger question. Bigger question. This is now the second year, okay, Um I mean, we saw it happen last year. We've seen it happen this year. Why Why does he just keep forgetting his most basic fundamentals? Like, what? What? what's that about? Is he just going to be one of those guys that has to just play all the time to stay, to stay sharp, to stay fresh? I mean, I, that's, that's my guess. I'm not a goalie coach. I don't – I know there's some people who have played goalie who watch the channel. Feel free to answer that question. Um I mean, his is it's bad. It's 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 bad. His positioning is just all off. And now, after coming in yesterday, you know, we kind of had a we talked about it a little bit in the stream. We're like, hey, maybe maybe this will be good. You know, he comes in unexpectedly. He has a good game. We come back. We win the game, and he gets his confidence back. You know what I mean? And he made a couple of saves, but then anything that's on an angle is going in. Anything that's going that's on an what angle. About the, what about the shot that was? You know, uh, bounced off his back. Yeah, that's that shit shouldn't happen. <laughs> I know. That's a rarity for a good goaltender. So I I put that on him, and I put that on the coaching. Robbie well, Cowles, yeah. Man. I I I just I mean I'm going to tell you right out. The next game he comes in, the same thing's going to happen. So his, and this is a his mental. That's the difference between the Bob we saw before. And Vez and Bob now. Now, I don't know what happened yesterday. I really well, don't know what happened yesterday. But, all right, Bob's been playing at such a good clip. We got to give him a pass. Right, right, right. It's not like they were they were but, but terrible need, call. But you need your backup to come in and, you know, stop majority of the pucks. Yeah, yeah. It was embarrassing. Right, right. I just, you know, I've said it all year round. This team is is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And we don't ever know who's going to show up. Well, we, we can't have like a game like we played with Washington after a game in St. Louis. I have a theory. And then go back to <laughs> I have a I have a theory that I got to last night and talked about it in a recap and it's basically Maurice's system is bust your ass for 60 minutes four check back check back check four check up and down the ice play physical hit everything win every board battle and the goalie has to play to Vesna level what you you win games like that but what happens either the next game or the game after that if you play two games in a row like that you're you're completely depleted of all energy, and then we look like ass again. Rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's what we're seeing. It's it's it's, it's what we're seeing. Look at look at how hard we had to work to beat Minnesota, and we got to two points. St. Louis, nothing in the tank. Look at how hard we had to beat work to beat Washington. We did it. Next game, nothing in the tank. It's it's it's. You, you, we need like. 18 guys that can play his system because there's always going to be three guys that are her at least. You know what I mean? Yeah. And well, for, I, for, for once I didn't watch your recap last night. 
Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. No. No, it's okay. No. I, I just like tuned out. Didn't even want to think about. You know, I just try to enjoy know, the rest of your Saturday. Press whatever, <laughs> and not think about the Panthers because it's right. just it's heartbreaking. But you know what? You're on to something. Yeah. You're onto yeah. something. Yeah, I mean, it's it's at at this it's point, such it's, a, it's such a high high energy expense that you're right. I mean, these guys are great conditioned athletes, but maybe that after, you know, a couple yeah. of games, I didn't think of right. that, but yeah, yeah. And look, I mean, that's what Tampa, Tampa can beat you both ways, and and that's the thing is that you know. Um, it's one thing where he wanted to, Maurice wanted to come in and stress physicality and everything like that. But I mean, we're like one 19 and one when trailing after the second period. I mean, he's completely reversed. Okay. I mean, you, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't duplicate being as good as we were last year at comeback ever. And I don't think you could duplicate being as bad as we are when behind ever. And it's the opposite. And the difference is, I mean, it ain't Hubert on Uyghur. I mean, if you want to say that had a little bit of an effect, I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing that. You know what I mean? But the difference is Maurice. That's the difference. Yeah, so let's just say we got in the playoffs and it's basically, you know, every other night. <laughs> right. Beside, beside, you know, when we get that extra travel day, we'd be, you know, <laughs> right. I'm not going to say four and out, but. Just imagine, it, it, it you know the intensity ramps up even more. So, right. So right. just imagine yeah. a three-two win or whatever, four-three win over Boston the the first game, and right, and it's five nothing. Right, and 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 I know some people are going to say some people are going to say, well, it's, <laughs> it's 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 the players. Yep. You know, right. that's okay. I know some people are going to say it's the players. Not technically wrong, but the point is, is that we don't have 12 guys to play his system on a nightly basis, right? We, 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 and even a guy like Kachuk, we've seen it. I got to it last night on the stream. The first two or three games of the year, he looked like freaking Tasmanian devil, and then it kind of leveled off because his body was fresh, and then it got beaten up. Same thing we saw here at the All-Star break. First two, three games, he was like a bat out of hell. He was like a maniac. And then all of a sudden, bloop, bloop, right? He's he's not like he's playing bad, but he's nowhere near playing at the same level he was when his body was fresh. Um, and then there's, there's got to be something. There's got to be to something. I'm not specifically blaming Maurice for this. Um, but there's got to be something with these guys are uncomfortable with some manner of way that he's asking them to play that is is the reason for all of the damn high sticks. Middle of the game yesterday, Ryan Lomberg just like like it was it was like somebody was playing PlayStation and, and did a spoof and he's just standing there and there's no reason and he just whacks the guy in the face. Like there was no reason for it. I what the hell's going on. So we got this home stand and Wait. and oh Wait. yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What about all the injuries? Huh? We've had a lot of injuries this year. Right. 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 I don't remember other than maybe Ekblad, maybe Barkov last year. Too many players right. in that run and gun. Right. Being injured. Right. There's, you know, there's this style there's, of hockey takes its toll on your body. I'm right. sure these guys are beat up by his, you know, I tell you, Randy has such good insight. He really is such a really good, you know, analyst right. of the game. Right. And he pointed so many things out yesterday that, um, you know, I'm in agreement with and we're in agreement with. I mean, we, you know, eh. well, I mean, that was, that was the one thing. Um, as I'm screaming about it on the stream uh, with Luce to Reinen and the one pass <laughs> to Reinhardt to nowhere, right? I'm screaming about it, and then it, and then I was I was joking. I always joked that the room is bugged because as soon as I was done talking about it, Randy 
had them run the replay, and he was talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that was a big factor yesterday. Yeah. I mean, yeah. these guys, uh, you know, it's like a hot potato. They want to get rid of it. They, right. uh, they're afraid to shoot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, Somebody. That, that, that's big. When right. you're not aggressive and taking that shot, I mean, how many times when, you know, the, the shot off the pads and it rebounds to right. our guy and it's in the net. Right. I mean, that, that's the perfect two-on-one other than the player scoring. Right, right. Yeah, we well, could look at, you know, you could look at a lot of things yesterday and just see that this is not a playoff team. Not on, not we, every we other night. Realistic. This is not a playoff team. Not every other night. Now, we did get hurt by, I mean, by the time we were already missing Bennett and then Smith was out. As soon as Gudis went out, man, they just started taking runs at our guys. Okay. I mean, there was just, there was just nothing for it. Um, I kind of half expected Lomberg to start a fight with somebody to kind of get things settled down a little bit. But then if he goes off the ice, we're really bereft of physicality, you know? Yeah. Losing Gudis. That's why I've been saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got to sign Gudis because he right. does more than just play defense. Yeah, if we lost even if him, he do, even if he doesn't drop the gloves, right? Just, just having him there, right? Other teams knowing, don't f with Barkov or Berhage because yeah. We, yeah, we know if we need him, he'll be there to do that. Yeah, no, so, Nashville played a very very physical game, and we just didn't answer. Well, we, I just I knew they I knew they were going. I mean, again, right. playing at home. They got embarrassed the night, you know, the game before. I knew they were going to come out, and I was worried about this game. Right. Exactly what I thought happened. Right. So, Anaheim. Well, Anaheim. Yeah, Monday. Monday. We tomorrow. Move, we'll, we'll move on to Monday. Oh, also, um, I know you. Know, you always make, you know, note of the fact that we suck in the afternoon. Game. It's it's yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is. <laughs> I don't know what. Well, you know, I get it. You know, um, they don't have their afternoon nap. Well, look, I'm. I'll, if you watch the um, review, if you watch the recaps of the afternoon games, usually we've lost most of the time. And if I'm irritable, I'm irritated as all hell. Because it, it does screw up my entire process that I have to get myself, you know, I, I'm look, I'm 51 years old. You think I got that much energy at 10 o'clock at night just from, from breathing, okay? It, there's a natural progression to things, to me managing my day, right? So I have the energy to do the stream and the recap and keep my energy level up the entire time. Two o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna do it again tomorrow. One o'clock in the afternoon screws up my whole my whole body chemistry. Is like, wait, what this is not timed it. What are we doing? Right? No, it's true. So I, I wonder now, it doesn't make any sense why we always get the shit end of the stick and why we're the ones that always lose, right? But I don't know, man. Some some I can I can relate. We'll just put it that way. You know what I mean? It, it takes you out of your routine and I don't know, man. You would think if they were ir if on the flip side of that, though, is if, if it if it was irritating them, like it irritates me, they'd be angry and pissed off and playing more physical, right? So I just I just um debunked my own theory there. So like you I got no idea. <laughs> well, I thoroughly expect tomorrow they're gonna come out and destroy Anaheim. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they don't <laughs> They have, they have. Then to. we'll officially call it season over. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, listen. Yeah, I'm, a re I'm a realist. I think everybody lost last night. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a realist. It, it, it's going to take a miracle. Go ahead. Keep the stars are all going to have to be like totally aligned for us to sneak in there. But how many games we have left now? Twenty three. Um, let's see. We have twenty three games left. For the love of God, we're two points ahead of the Sabers, and and they have five games in hand yeah. on us. 
they now the won. Islanders lost. They, the they Penguins went, lost. They win th three out of those five. That's six every points. Everybody lost yesterday. That's really? the only silver lining. Is everybody that was that played that was in the playoff race lost? Is there any team that 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 just wants it to? How did Detroit do? I don't think Detroit um, played. By the way, Paul. But they've lost. They lost their last game. Them, man. Tell Jose that, that these <laughs> they get better, right? As you, as you get this is a seven inch cigar, but I, I normally don't smoke. You know, normally I'll just you know cut a cigar in half. I know it's bad cigar etiquette, but yeah, I mean this, this is a this is a you know we're on twenty minutes, and I, I was smoking it for at least five before. This is a forty minute smoke. <laughs> Honestly, I'm looking at the standings, and really, <clears throat> the team that's got the best chance to grab that eight seed is Buffalo, because they've got so many games in hand on us and the Islanders. It's it's obscene. Well, I'll tell you, whoever goes on either a streak or a nine and one, even an right. eight and two, whatever, right. Yeah, the right. team that deserves the, the team that starts right. speaking now is the team that deserves to get in. Well, look, and that's that's why I've talked about this a lot on the podcast. I've talked about it. This homestand, we've got so many times where there's two games in between, not just the day off, but two days off. So we should be able to win what, all we're, of gonna, them? what we're gonna do is win we're gonna. All of them? Because that's well, what we need to do. We're going to give ourselves false hope because we're going to have all that rest in between games. So every game they're going to be able to play that maniac style for the most part, win most of the games, slip in, and then when we get to the playoffs and it's back to every other day, um, we'll go back to – but now even in the playoffs, it depends. If you play the first game hard and win, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win. You could you could still win the cup, winning and losing every other game. You just have to win the first one of every series. I'm I, think just... <laughs> a, I think you made a good point. And the point is, how do you keep this level of intensity? Game in, game out, week in, right. week in, week out, month in, month out. Right, right. And and the the other part that has our fourth line. I mean, has, has this team ever? Had a coach that worked them like this? No, no, not like this, not like this. You know, Gallant they they played fast, but um, they did it in in spurts. Like Gallant's teams would, we 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 turn it on and then turn it off and just play. You know, just just play. You know, contain defense a little bit. We turn it on, we turn it off. We did that kind of last year a little bit, you know. Ah, uh, crap, it's 3 nothing again. All right, turn the engine on, and before you know it, it's 6-3. It's like, all right, shut it down. Um, so I go back to something that you said earlier, or even the last video, or last week, whatever. Are these players built for this system? No. The players that we have? No. No, and that that's the big question I've been talking about talking about in the podcast is like if we don't make it what do you do do you do you retool and rebuild the roster for maurice or do you get rid of maurice and try to get a coach that's going to work with the players that we do have well you do we were, Even both, in, we were both in agreement on the maurice hiring yeah well look. I, I, I there really wasn't anything wrong with last year's team except for the fact that the players that produced so well in the regular season didn't show up in the playoffs. Right. Right. Yeah. I Was mean, there it, anything wrong with that high offense, high octane, fun to watch team? I mean, you had well, five. You had five. How many guys? We had how many 30 goal scorers? I mean, there How many there, 20 goal scorers? Right. We didn't really have the goaltending, although it wasn't bad. Um, you know, the defense. I just think that um, 
It was just what? the wrong, you know, the wrong <laughs> fit for that team. Right. Right. And he just totally tore that down and put this in. And yeah, this is the system might, it might take two, three years. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. like, how do you go from being the best effing team in the league to being, I mean, I mean, we got 58 points. Jeez. We should have 70 points. Right. Right. It's I think just, we got 60. When we're a 500 team. Oh no, we're 500 team. What do we got? We got 62 points in in 59 oh, games. Excuse me. Yeah, 62. Well, we're basically a 500. I mean, a 500 team means you win yeah. one, you lose one. Yeah, no, we're 20. If you count the overtime losses, we're 28 and 31, and and we have a negative goal differential. So and, and the goal differential last year was, was off the chart. Was off the charts. Yeah. We would have finished over 100 if it wasn't for the, the 10 spot we gave Montreal at the end of the year. We would have finished with a with a goal differential over 100. Yeah, well, we didn't we didn't show up those last four games. We could yeah, we, or we whatever coached. it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, the important thing, the important thing. Well, excuse me. While you're there, can you look yeah. up Colorado? You mean their record? Yep. Uh, let's see. Avalanche are uh, they have sixty five points, but they've played they, they've played five fewer games. They're back in third place. What's their record? Read their record. They're out thirty there. nineteen and five, so they're thirty All right, and twenty four. Decent. decent. Right. Their goal differential is seventeen, so it's not like they're knocking it out of the park. You know what I mean? Well. Um, if the, but if nobody's they, goal differential is really all that great. I mean, what's because, Boston? Uh, Boston's the only one. Boston's at ninety. There's there's nobody else above fifty. There's only a couple teams over forty. God, the Blue Jackets have a minus sixty five goal differential. <laughs> Listen, this is this is Boston's year, man. Yeah, if they don't win this, if they don't win the cup, something. something I'm telling wrong. you. It's going to be reversed, man. It's going to be reversed. We're going to slip into the eighth seed, and we're going to take out the President's Trophy winner. That's yep. – that's <laughs> you melt the God's ears because I don't see it happening. Right, right. Well, I mean, I predicted it before the season. Yes, Not the Boston part, but I predicted it before the season. So I, if, if, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. I'm going down swinging. I'm not going to quit on it now. You know what I mean? <laughs> so – Look, well, they ain't gonna win the cup playing like they did let yesterday, or the way they played in St. Louis. I mean, I know, they that's sloppy, right? And, yeah, and, and these high sticking penalties. I, I'd like to know the exact number of high sticking penalties that we have taken this year. I've never ever seen right. the amount of high sticking specific yeah. high sticking penalties. Um. I mean, some of them are accidental, but some of them are just carelessness. Right. Yeah, it don't make any sense. I mean, just, and another thing, you know, we, we also didn't get some calls yesterday. I mean, blatant yeah. cross-check to the back. Doesn't I mean, matter. These referees. I mean, really, do you really want I mean, the power game play? In, game out. <laughs> it's <laughs> I mean, really. so inconsistent. And then they call, you know, a bullshit penalty on us. Right, right. But um, anyway, I can't. You can't blame it on the refs. We we just no, sucked no. a big egg last yesterday, and mm -hmm. I'm really worried about Spencer Knight because the more we throw him out there, and the more he gets shellacked, his he's going to be fragile. Right. Yeah. No, it, it's going to completely ruin the kid. And yeah. what sucks is, you know, the other night when he came back, I thought, I thought, okay, look, look, pitch me a shutout. And because because Manscaped's getting ready to send me some new performance packages, I said, "Pitch me a shutout, and and I'll have them send Spencer Knight the a, a full Manscaped package." He I wouldn't remember, he, you know. And um, he blew that early, man. He 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 <laughs> he just he doesn't look comfortable, right? And that's why Bill Zito, um gonna tell you right now mm -hmm. send this kid down to the ahl mm -hmm. and play him every game bring lion up he's he's a you know he's definitely competent backup 
Right. And that's how you end the regular season. Okay. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Bill, I, just, damn, I echo Stu's sentiments. I said it last night. I demanded it last night. I don't remember what I said yesterday. <laughs> I was pissed. The, 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 the recap, the, the post game alone was 17 minutes because I was irritated already because my furnace don't work. And then they, they interrupt my Saturday. And then that's what we got to watch. Are you kidding me? I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't watch it. Because I knew what I knew what that <laughs> recap was going to be, and I figured, you know what, I'll just be fresh this morning, not influenced by anything you said. It um, did have a rather. Um, there's there's a lot of comments about the manscape dad, though. So um, you, <laughs> Francisco finally got his shot to do a manscape dad. Well, we're ready for our next sponsor, so we need to uh, talk about who who we're going to uh, contact. Get some yeah. uh, get some diversity on here. <laughs> I, I think Stu Stu um did you strike did you cut yourself? Are you good? You're not. I've been sick. Yeah, I mean, no, that's right. Yeah, Stu's not feeling well, so no, he's he's not. He's His not thing is lingering well. on. This is a this is a week now, and you know you made a good comment. This is the second time I've been sick in six months. Right, it's been years. Years when I didn't have a cold or whatever. Right, right. And it's always been the night, day after I've went, I've gone to a game. Yep, yep. And I shake a lot of hands at the games. And, I, you know, a lot of times I'm, you know, I'm washing my hands and sometimes. But coincidence? Mm. I mean, and the I'm other. Through, you know, I'm always in between periods. I'm always walking through the crowd and. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Bump into people. But it's. Yeah, you know, the first yeah. the, fir the first time I got sick was after the Edmonton game, and right. You know, so, yeah, there's a. There's I don't a, know. I'm just I was just thinking about that. It's just uh, you know, kind of weird. Yep, maybe that's what's wrong with the team. There's a bug at the arena. I don't know, man. All right, that's enough. It's yep. Sunday morning. It's Sunday morning. All right, I listen, got... guys. Throw your comments out there. Yeah. The main, I guess, the main topic is: Do you agree? I'm sure we're going to have a. I mean, if we took a poll, I would say eighty percent are going to say spend, send Spencer Knight down and let him get some work. I well, think it'd be a hundred percent. So I guess some topics are Knight, the system, the new system. You know the the the, the way that. It's taking its toll on the players. Right. Um, and what would you do to fit? What would you do right now for the next 23 games to, to fix this thing? Or do you think we're going to get in? So, anyway, let's just leave it an open forum. I just want to read some comments. And yep. Yep. <coughs> All right, guys. On me. Anyway, we, thanks again, we, Paul. Yeah. Thanks again, Paul. And thanks Much. Jose for me. All right. Let him yep. watch this part of the video. This is a great cigar. He <laughs> said, All right. That's the perfect way to end it. We appreciate all the support. Um, we'll not be back today. We don't, we, but tomorrow, one o'clock in the afternoon. You think I was, you think I was crabby yesterday. One o'clock on a Monday. Yep. Uh, on a day, I, I, to just, is it just officially a holiday. I, I'm not. It's, off, it's I'm President's working. Day. Like, yeah. like who's who's going? Yay, Presidents! I mean, really, come on now, right? It's an excuse for people to have a day off. Fine, but one o'clock. Ten thousand people show up tomorrow. One o'clock on a Monday. I think they said it's like Kids Day because they're off of school. Dana, Dana said something like it's like bring your kid, kids day or whatever. So I don't know. They're gonna have. They're gonna have they're gonna have uh, non manscaped puppet shows. I think that's I think that's the uh, the shtick. All right, guys, we appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.